Hey everyone, hope everyone had a good Christmas, Hanukkah week. Um, trying to play catch up here. We didn't do title of the week Thursday because Sam and Mike are taking a, a week, I think two weeks off. So I didn't do a title of the week Thursday, although I did do my title of the week, but I'm not going to show it until Sam and Mike are ready. I did do a catch up one. I can show you my catch up one. This was number five, the Victoriana tile, which was really simple. It was like four rounds, real easy peasy. And I'm working on the next one, Secret Lotus, right now. So that's that's a little catch up on the tile. But I'll show you the regular tile the as soon as Mike and Sam and Mike are ready. Um, I have some two FOs. I got my um, calendar blanket done, Jada and Stitches calendar blanket. And that's totally Tunisian. Um, it was really fun learning the squares. However, I don't like the way they, they come out so curly and rolly. And I tried to block them and it just didn't block very well. <laughs> so some of the squares were you know, like this and some of them were nice and flat like this. And even though they had this right amount of stitches, they still look kind of wonky and I think I'll have to block it again. I don't think maybe I didn't wet it enough or something. I don't know, but it didn't block very well. But as you can see, my border, even putting a border on was, uh, <laughs> it's still, they still been, they still curl. But it was, it was, uh, it was nice to do. It was very um, interesting learning the different tiles. Um, like the, this was January. This was the simple stitch, and the pink one was um, February, the full stitch, and the light blue was the pearl stitch. That was March. April was the honeycomb stitch. The gray one here, which I enjoy doing. I think that was, yeah, honeycomb stitch. And then I did the... This was the knit stitch. This was another curly one. This was a curly one. That was a curly one. That was a just the knit stitch. And this light purple one was the Tunisian uh, double crochet. That was real quick to do. The double crochet in Tunisian. And <laughs> this one um, was this one. Leaf stitch, the no, yeah, leaf stitch, reverse stitch. That was July. Reverse stitch, the green one. Looks gray in the picture, but it's really green. And the one on the bottom, this one here, was the ribbed stitch. That was that was fun to do either. Oh, my hair. And we have over here the next. Uh, this was uh, September was the basket weave stitch. I don't know if you can see that, the basket weave stitch. And then it was the um, seed stitch, which was fun to do too. And lacy lattice stitch was purple. And the red one was the extended simple stitch. That was real quick. I enjoyed doing that one too. That was December. And the border was just a single crochet, a double crochet, and a single crochet. So it's it makes a nice lap row. I think that's what I'm going to use. I don't even think I'm going to donate this because it's just too too wonky. But I'll I'll try blocking it and see what happens. But it might be just something to throw on her lap. But it was really really interesting to learn all the the different Tunisian stitches. And it'll be nice to go back and do some in cotton and make some nice washcloths. That's what I wish I did in the first place. Um, the last one was the look of the draw. That's done. I did this in the um, ribbed granny, the granny's. Um, it's fiber spiders, the granny square um, ripple. And where did I start out? Okay, that was the end. This was the beginning. <laughs> you 
yep, it went through week one all the way down. So this was fun and easy to do also, this rib stitch. I always wanted to do the do this blanket, so I had a good chance to do the blanket and a cowl at the same time. So that was the ribbed, granny ribs ripple stitch by Fiber Spider. So that one's done. And I guess the next uh, luck of the draw, hopefully we'll start sometime in February, whenever Nan is up to doing it. So that will be and I think I'm going to steal <laughs> Lynn Como's idea of doing, um, she did a bag and the mosaic, actually two bags because, um, and, uh, and Anita did that bag too. Also, I think she did it as a copycat thing with Laura one, one month this last year, this, this year. And I, I really love it. It's so pretty. So I'm going to try and do that. Mosaic, because it's the only thing mosaic thing I've done is a washcloth, so I'm going to try and do that. A bag. It was really pretty. And that's about all. I got Happy Meal. I'll show you my Happy Meal. My neighbor to the north, Mrs. Claus, a.k.a. Sherry K. <laughs> I got this in the mail. I, I couldn't figure out who this was from. It was, uh, it's from Potions. Potions and Pearls. That's their card. It's in Rhode Island. And um, it's Periwinkle. Periwinkle Promise Mini Set. And I am um, two, two skeins in a periwinkle color. A skein of this gray, silver like color. And the two variegated. It's got the Tunisian and the gray and white. And they're all got, they're all sparkly. And I don't know if you can see that or not. They're all sparkly too. They're really, really pretty. It's 75% uh, superwash merino, 15% nylon, 10% silver stellina. 87 yards in each, each skein. So I can't wait to figure out what to make with this. So thank you so much, Sherry, for this. This was quite a surprise. And also, I got Nancy from She's Got Yarn to get me a, a set of clover hooks, which was really nice. I got a set before from early in the year from Lala. I tried those first time I tried clover, and I really love them. And I love my Susan Bates. So now I've got between these two sets of clover and my sets of Susan Bates, I've got enough hooks to put in project bags. I can leave in project bags so I won't have to say, what hook was I using? <coughs> but I don't write it down. I tell myself, oh, I'll remember, and I, I don't. Unless it's written down somewhere, I'll forget. So now I can leave one in each project bag. I don't have to re try and remember to write down someplace what hook I'm using. Um, anything else? My husband got me a Christmas cactus, which is gorgeous. Um, my next door neighbor. I found this Christmas morning on my step. Isn't this the cutest thing? They used to have a, a calico cat. Um, and um, it reminded them of the calico cat. It's a birdhouse. It's a little birdhouse. It's so cute. And it also reminds me of another cat that we are uh, very well known and that we love. Um, <laughs> this is a little uh, perch for the bird. It's so cute. It kind of reminds me of um, Persephone and Maisie. I showed this to Laura, Laura last. Where did you get this? Where did they get this? And I don't know where they got it, but it's really cute. I'll have to find out. So that's my birdhouse. My Persephone birdhouse. Okay. And I guess that's about it to show you. I can't think. Seems like there was something else. I'm expecting something in the mail today from somebody. I think my Sophie's Universe book is coming. It's supposed to be coming today. I'm not sure. Um, and I've got something else that I ordered that's supposed to be coming also today, I think. But um, that's what I can think of to talk about today. Uh, I hope you all had a wonderful holiday. 
And I um, thank you for my new subscribers. I just got a whole mess of subscribers recently. Um, I'm up to 205 now. So thank you so much for being a rebel and not <laughs> subscribing to me when everybody says, don't do it. <laughs> for somebody who only wanted a small channel just for the Zoomies to, to watch, it got out of hand, but it's fine. <laughs> I'm getting used to doing, doing videos now, kind of, sort of. So I'll say goodbye, and I hope everybody has a nice, nice week. Happy New Year. Bye. I knew there was something else I forgot to mention. Our gift exchange. We had a gift exchange in Zoom, and I had Lynette, and Lynette had me. This is what I got. Uh, so this is great. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, Lynette. I forgot all about mentioning this. I knew I, if, as soon as I stopped the video, there was something, there's something else. I got something else. I can't remember what it was. I can't, then it just came to me and I hope I can attach this to my original, um, video. <laughs> we'll see. Thanks. Bye.